Tuesday. Make sure you've got your name at the top of your paper. Then go ahead and get going on your facts and your problems on page 233. Your power up there, A through H down there. Go ahead and press play when you're done. Remember, one of those great ways to find your multiplication facts is to use your multiplication chart. So, for example, 6 times 6, and go to the 6 and then count down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can also see here that where those two columns meet is at the 36, so I know that that's my answer. Remember to circle them when you get them right. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 5 is 35. 9 times 4 is 36. 1 times 2 is 2. 0 times 5 is 0. 6 times 9 is 54. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 times 6 is 30. 7 times 7 is 49. 4 times 2 is 8. 7 times 9 is 63. 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 9 is 18. 8 times 5 is 40. 5 times 2 is 10. 8 times 9 is 72. 6 times 5 is 30, 8 times 2 is 16, 9 times 7 is 63, 3 times 5 is 15, five, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 9 is 36, 7 times 2 is 14, 9 times 8 is 72, 9 times 5 is 45, 5 times 7 is 35, 3 times 2 is 6, Th 9 times 3 is 27, 1 times 9 is 9, 8 times 8 is 64, 0 times 9 is 0, 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 8 is 40, 1 times 6 is 12, 3 times 9 is 27, 4 times 5 is 20, 9 times 6 is 54, 4 times 4 is 16, 9 times 9 is 81. Going on to our mental math. First, we're going to count by threes from 30 to 60 and then back down to 30. So start at 30. 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60. And back down. 60, 57, 54, 51, 48, 45, 42, 39, 36, 33, 30. A says to add 99 cents, 98 cents, or 95 cents to another amount of money, add one dollar, and then subtract one cent, two cents, or five cents. So notice 99 cents is one cent less than a dollar. 98 cents is two cents less than a dollar, and 95 cents is five cents less than a dollar. So for A, which says, let me get this a little farther down, there we go, which says three dollars and forty five cents plus ninety nine cents a three dollars and forty five cents plus ninety nine cents I'm first just going to add a dollar which gives me four dollars and forty five cents and then I'm subtract one cent to give me four dollars and forty four cents okay I can do that in my head so 75 cents, sorry, $5.75 plus 98 cents, $1 more is going to be $6.75 minus 2, $6.73. So I did plus $1 gave me $6.75 minus 2 cents gave me $6.73. Okay? You can always just write it out too, but this is one of those ways that we can do it faster and in our heads. 85 cents plus 95 cents. Well, one dollar would plus one dollar would be one dollar and eighty-five cents, and then minus five cents would be one dollar and eighty cents. D measurement. Brian threw the baseball 30 yards. How many feet did he throw the ball? Well, one yards equals three feet. So 30 yards is going to equal 90 feet, right? Because there's 3 feet in a yard. So 30 plus 
30 plus 30 is going to give me 90 feet. E. If a square is two inches on each side, what is the square's perimeter? Well, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, or 2 times 4, is 8 inches. F. Time. It is 10.20 a.m. Carmelita must leave for her appointment at 11 a.m. How many minutes is it until she must leave? Well, if we do later time minus earlier time, I can't do zero minutes minus 20. So I've got to take one of these hours and move it over here. But one hour isn't 100 minutes like we would normally borrow. It's 60 minutes. So now zero minus zero is zero. Six minus two is four. 10 minus 10 is zero. So we get 40 minutes. G. Ramesh wants to buy a board game for $9.55 and a deck of cards for $1.43. What are two dollar amounts he could use to estimate the cost of both items? Well, $9.55, what should we use? Well, it's really close to $9.50, right? That would be the nearest 25 cents. And $1.43, that's really close to $1.50. So when I add those together, I could get $11. H, calculate. It says 4 times 8 plus 68 plus 92 plus 9. So I'm going to start with 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is 32 plus 68 is going to give me 100 plus 92 is going to give me 192 plus 9 is going to give me 201. Going on to our problem of the day. Problem of the day says choose an appropriate problem solving strategy. Can Tara's mom cut an orange in half? Then she cut each half in half. Can Tara ate three of the orange pieces? What fraction did she eat? Well, how many pieces are there? Four. They're all equal size, so I know that can be my bottom number. And then how many did she eat? Three. So she ate three-fourths. Go ahead and flip it over. Today you will learn how to read an inch scale to the nearest fourth. So you're going to need your ruler that was in your folder for today. Notice there's an inch side and a centimeter side. So today as we're using the inch side, we're gonna use this one. Inches are bigger, so there's fewer numbers here. This is a six inch ruler. And then on this side would be centimeters. Centimeters are smaller. Okay, so today we're focusing on the inch side. If you look in your book, we have to remember something important. Remember that two-fourths equals one-half. See here, there's the same amount of these as shaded. And two-fourths equals one-half. Example one says, how long is this toothpick to the nearest quarter inch? So notice they already have their inch ruler there. So one inch, two inch, and then I've got one, two, three, four spaces between two and three. So this is four. So two and one fourth, two and two fourths. Okay, so it's two and two fourths inch, written like this. Two and two fourths inch. Now remember, two and two fourths is the same thing as two and one half inch. Now if we can write it as a half, a lot of times we're going to do that because that's what's called the sim. Uh, that's what's called the simplest form. Okay, we want to write it in simple form. Um, we don't want to use a fraction with bigger numbers than we have to. One half is in, is in um, the smallest terms. Example two: 
says, Hajari has three boards. One board is one and a half inches thick. Second board is two inches thick. The third board is two and one half inches thick. If Hajari selects two of the boards and, and stacks one on top of the other, then the two boards could have a combined thickness of how many inches? Here they sketched all the combinations. So we had two plus one and a half. Right, they started with one and a half and they used two, started with one and a half and they used two and a half, and then used the two and the two and a half together. Notice first we have two plus one and a half. Then we had two and a half plus one and a half. Then we had two and a half plus two. Two plus one is three, and then one half plus one half is just one half. So three and one half inches. Two plus one is three. One half plus one half is two halves. Right? So three and two halves, well two halves equal a whole, so we get four inches. And then for this one, two plus two is four. One half plus nothing is just one half. So four and one half inch. Excellent. Then let's look at our lesson practice. A says draw a picture that shows that two-fourths equals one-half. So we saw the circles before, so I'm going to just go ahead and draw two rectangles on top of each other. I'm going to divide this one in half. I'm going to divide this one into fourths. Sorry, I didn't mean to do it that way. I meant to do it vertically. Let me get my white out for a second. Now we can go, let me put that white out to dry, but here. Okay, so then two fourths is gonna be the same thing as one half. All right, let's look at B. Name each point marked by an arrow on this inch scale. So we've got our, this is by fourths, so zero, one fourth, one half, three fourths. So B would just be three fourths inch. C, we're after the one, so one, one and a fourth, one and two fourths, but remember two fourths equals one half. So one and one half inch. D, two, two and one fourth. And then E, three, three and one fourth, three and two fourths, three and three fourths. Excellent. Skip down to G. Use your pencil and ruler to draw points A, B, and C in order on a straight line so that the distance from A to B is one and a half inches and the distance from B to C is three fourths inches. Then find the distance from A to C. Okay, so we gotta start with A. I'm just gonna draw a dot. Start with A. On our ruler, these marks that are just a little bit longer are one half. So and then in between there, these ones are one fourth, three fourths, one fourth, three fourths, one fourth, three fourths. Oh sorry, you can't see that. There you go. Go ahead, pause it there to get that marked. Notice there's eighths here. So right here is one fourth, one half, three fourths, one, one and one fourth, one and one half, one and three fourths. All right. So if we're going to draw from A a line that is one and one half inches, I'm going to go from here all the way to here where B is going to be. All right. Then if I'm going to draw another segment that's 3 fourths inches, I'm going to start at B, where is it? 0. 
we go to C, so it's three fourths inches, and then I can measure the whole way. How far is that? Well, two and one fourth inch. Two and one fourth inch. All right? Excellent. We'll get lots more practice with those rulers. Go ahead and put that away and let's get going on a couple of our problems. Third grade, make sure you got your name at the top. And then we'll start down at number 12. Number 12 says use a ruler to find the length of the screw to the nearest quarter inch. So if I put my book Nearest quarter of an inch, I'm going to start at the zero, the very edge of my ruler, out of the very edge of the screw, and see what is that going to. Notice it's coming right here, so it's to one fourth, so we're at one and one fourth inch. So for 12, one and one fourth inch. Alrighty, flip it over for the other three we're going to do. Number 16 at the top says the square root of 64 minus the square root of 36. Well, what's the square root of 64? Square root of 64, if I look at my squares, perfect squares, 64 is 8 because 8 times 8 equals 64. Square root of 36, 6, because 6 times 6 equals 36. So then what's 8 minus 6? 2, piece of cake. Moving on. Number 25. Number 25 says, Draw a rectangle that has three acute angles. Remember, an acute angle is a cute little angle. It's smaller than a right angle. So if we just draw kind of what you would think of as a standard triangle, a regular triangle, equilateral, all the sides are the same, that is an acute triangle. Okay? You've got choices. This would be an acute triangle too. Those are still all acute angles. Okay, moving on to 27. 27 says a realtor was writing an advertisement about houses for sale in town. The prices of five houses are listed below. Show how the realtor would arrange the prices in order from the most expensive to the least expensive. Well, I notice all of them, except this first one, we've got three digits over here. And then one, two, three. This is the only one that has seven digits. So this one has to be the most expensive. This is 1,280,000. So we'd write 1,280,000 first. Next, that we've gotten rid of that one, we can look at the next ones. 299, 476, 189, 385. Well, now we got it simple. We've got a four, then a three, then a two, then a one, right? If we're looking at these, we're just looking at the hundred thousands place. So let's start with the one that had a four first. 476,000. Then we can go with the 385,900. 299,000. And 189,000. All right, feel free to write C box for that one. Make sure you take your time and ask any questions at our one o'clock Zoom call.